Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rusty here. I'm doing some juggling, taking my kids to the park, and uh, just hanging out on this very beautiful day. I'm going to cover five things today that Japanese people do here in Japan that kind of are socially progressive and will help you pretty much in any social situation and will just make communication better for you in general. I think it really helps keep things calm and moving along efficiently in Japan. And you too can use all five of these to make all of your social situations go better as well. Number one first, we've got apologize. Japanese people will apologize for darn near anything even when it's not their fault. And that's the key point, not their fault. They will apologize to calm a situation down if a customer is extremely angry and it's merely just a computer error, not a human one. They will still apologize and take full fault for it. If a team fails to get a job done in the proper way, everybody in the team will take blame for it. It won't be an individual thing and they will apologize. And that gets a lot of people out of a lot of heated situations and also shows teamwork. On top of it, we've got polite or overly polite. Those are two things that really keep, I think, customer service great in Japan is number one, they will come to help you at a store, but they won't be overly aggressive to the point of making your shopping experience annoying. If you ask for any kind of help or a certain size or a certain product, they will go above and beyond whatever they need to do to get you that product everything from getting it from another store to I've even had times where they knew a store chain that was down the street and would go to that one literally jog down there grab the product I wanted and come back so being overly polite and giving great customer service next one is compliment compliment people for things that maybe are just an average level skill but complimenting them to encourage them to do better in it for example, Japanese people will constantly compliment your ability to speak Japanese, even if it's not that great. And that's just because they're thankful that you're trying to communicate in their language rather than them have to struggle to hear English. It not only encourages you to increase your skill level in something you're already kind of mediocre at, but it helps you know your try and effort is appreciated. Next is help. Japanese people are famous for being overly helpful to the point that I've had times where I've asked somebody directions how to get somewhere and they've not only showed me how to get there, they've literally taken me along with them to walk to the area. I remember one time I was trying to find Costco in Amagasaki and there was an old lady there who was just taking a stroll down the street for her normal everyday walk and instead of just pointing me in a direction and telling me purely in Japanese, with that, at that time I could barely speak any, I'd only been in Japan about a week, she took me on a walk all the way there. I said, thanks. I was like, wow, I can't believe you did this in the middle of your day. And she just said, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just on my normal walk. So I thought I'd go ahead and take a stroll the same way you're going so that you could get there and make sure you didn't get lost. That is super helpful. Last but not least, Japan is famous for its level of customer service. I already kind of talked about this a little bit with being overly polite, but customer service always goes above and beyond to the point that if they cannot get you something that you want, they will find it either at another store, they've actually gotten stuff from other countries, they've actually gone out of their way to get me stuff that's just from all over different places to make sure I have the right product. On top of that, there's been times where I've gotten a product and it didn't work completely correct or it wasn't the software wasn't working on my computer or the technology wasn't working on my computer and the amazing aspect and I guess this is something we just take for granted in America but the amazing aspect of returning something in Japan is if you go back you have your receipt and you return something they just let you return it no questions asked you don't even have to come up with an excuse you don't even have to say why if you have the receipt the product's still all in its packaging it's not been thoroughly damaged for some reason you come back no argument. The same thing goes for insurance, which blows my mind as an American, and maybe this is only an American thing, I don't know, but if you file some sort of insurance claim as far as health or accident, they don't come back and question every single thing that you filed, they just give you the money. And that is great customer service, and one of the legendary aspects of Japan. Anyway guys, those were five quick things that make every social situation better if you do it the Japanese way. If you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm unrested with the questions you requested. This is JFAC, Japan's Frequently Asked Questions. Have a good one.